Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we are on a special assignment down here in Singer Island, Florida. We met up with Jake Granger here, the owner of the Catitude. This is built by ACI Boats in Port Townsend, Washington, and this is their new 34 by 12 warm weather Luma Cat, all on the aluminum catamaran. Jake, thanks for taking the time, buddy. We are excited to be here. We're glad to have you down. We oh, just man. absolutely love this boat. I'm gonna get that crown, I'm gonna let it shine, so turn the lights on. Twin 300 Mercury outboards. What are your takeaways so far from the Mercs, buddy? They're fabulous. They're quiet. They're very fuel efficient. I'm getting 1.5 miles per gallon on this boat, which is really great. That's great on yeah. a 34 by 12 foot beam right. catamaran. Great economy. This is called the Fish Pod. I think ACI may have been the first to construct one of these on these catamarans. But this allows you, you know, if you have a fish on, to really work your way out around these outboards, you know. Uh, get around the outboards and maybe land the fish on the other side. Additionally, you also have a dive ladder sure. off the back of this as well, right? Yep. This dive ladder pops right out off the stern of the fish pond for you spear fishermen. Or in the unfortunate event that you do end up in the water, it gives you access back onto the boat. Now we had a chance to jump on your boat long before it was finished at the factory and uh, crawled around. The first thing we noticed were these fold down transom seats here. Look how smooth those operate. Uh, starboard, port side, and transom seating on both sides of the boat and they just operate so smoothly. A lot of times yep. these, these can be like a two-handed operation but these are so easy uh, to retract and deploy. Then we've got two spacious compartments below the deck here, Jake. Where a lot of your rigging is. I see at least one cranking battery down there. Access to your fuel tank, your sending units. And I like the steps they put in here because normally, you know how hard it is to crawl down into something like this. Really tough. Access steps. And you've got your through hole transducer. I see your, your wash down pump here. And you've got these big compartments on both sides with your rigging in there. Another battery on that side. Another big through hole, transducer, battery switches, breakers, but uh, you can see where this gas gets off right against here and keeps it nice and dry in there. I like it. Raptor deck all over the place here, which really warms up these aluminum boats. Yeah, we you covered know. everything. And the nice thing with the Raptor deck is you don't get the glare. And then this entire interior has been sprayed with all grip. And we'll, we'll get into that in a little more detail in a minute. But the color is wonderful. It really has a nice uh, high gloss finish. Easy to clean. Looks good, man. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. And then you opted for the Exploding Fish Rotating Gunnel Mount Rod Holders. This is my first experience can, with these things. You can these turn them any way you incredible. want. So that's straight back or yeah. side. You've got a little arrow here. You just push that button and you can rotate these any way you want. And then these are stationary yeah. for storage here, of course. And then uh, you've got your rotators back here right where you need them uh, when you're out fishing, you know. I see your raw water wash down. You've got an outlet right here, Jake, and then yep. another one over here on the starboard side. Both sides of the boat here. And then uh, fresh water right here and, and you said this is kind of like your tackle station a little bit you wash your lures yeah. down yeah i've never had this off. on the boat it's really nice you know just up throw the lures out here and wash them with fresh water and and you opted for the open aft wall here but you do have canvas that fits in yes. here but i think most of the time you said you'd leave the canvas off going to down here in florida just yeah. going to take it off you know and then grab rails you know everywhere right here and then if you want to Want to head up to the bow, you got a rail right here to grab, and then you can grab onto the roof, and you've got railings all over the place. And I love the 30-inch overhang, a little bit of an extended overhang they put on the cabin area here, and they, you use that to get out of the sun, right? Sure Jake? do. You know, normally, you know, when I'm fishing, I'll end up tucking up here, mm -hmm. fish over the side, and keep my face and upper body out of the sun. Aquarian countertops, we mentioned this earlier, beautiful. Yeah. t cabinets, 
slam latches. They're easy to operate. You're not twisting anything or anything. You just pop these in and out. Plenty of storage here. And these windows uh, open both directions. Both so you directions, can, right. So you can really yeah. let the air flow through here all throughout this cabin, Jake. Sometimes when you're running the boat, with the front window open, you get too much air on you. So mm -hmm. you just close that, open the back window, and life is good. Yeah, sink, fresh water here, spacious dinette. Sounds like you guys pile a bunch of grandkids in here, and, and you guys, and plenty of room for everybody, yeah? Yep, there's eight of us. Yeah, yeah. awesome. And then this folds down to make yep. this into a big day bed or even a yep. bunk, right? Yeah, the cushion's up forward. And then the paint scheme in here, normally this would probably be a wood headliner. Yeah. And you guys painted this all with all grip, this light color that really brightens up this interior. That's my wife. She's really yeah. kind of a genius when it comes to putting colors together. She did together. a great I'm, job. I'm not going to take any credit. She picked out all these fabrics for everything. You guys opted for LeBrock seating for your passenger seating and the helm seat. Of course, these are bolster style. These are super comfortable. You know, you can either sit or lean. We see these on so many boats now, but these LeBrocks in particular are deluxe, right? They are great seats, you know, the arms go up and down, no mm -hmm. problem. And typically, I'll run the boat with the bolster up like mm -hmm. this so I can stand up. But if I want to sit down, I can sit down and we, we place the foot rests in the right spot. Nice console here. Your passengers to put their belongings in here, a couple yep. cup holders. Yeah. And then you, um, you opted for a little bit darker all grip on the dash. We did so we don't get any reflections or glares. Mm -hmm. But as it turns out with these, I guess you'd call them inverted windows, they mm -hmm. are spectacular. I've never had a boat with them. Yeah. Uh, and the visibility out of them is fantastic. And they're, they seem like they're always in the shade. Yeah, you know? the forward weight raked window design is just yeah. awesome for a boat like this. Yeah. And they shed water so well too, yeah. you know? So then your helm station, got everything right where you need it there, it looks like. Got your Merc controls. Yeah, we laid this out so I'm kind of lazy. I can run the boat right, you know, sitting down the whole time or, mm -hmm. or you know, standing up like this. Mm -hmm. yep. Now, Jake, I see you opted for the easy anchor system. So you really don't need to go to the bow if you want to anchor, right? Not at all. If I want to put the anchor down, down you go, up you go. Yeah. And I have a self-deploying anchor that will launch mm -hmm. without having to go to the bow. And then you've got the ultimate fish finding setup right here, buddy. Good Lord. Between your sonar and your side scan and your mapping system, does a fish even stand a chance? They, so, always, they always seem to have a chance. They do, I know. Yeah. They always sneak away on us. But you've got, what, 50 kilohertz, 200. Yep. Side scan in the middle. Yep. Side scan in the middle. Mm -hmm. This is Fruno's brand new side scan. Just came out this spring. Mm -hmm. And then your mapping on your Simrad. Look at the detail there. We're, we're here on mm -hmm. the intercoastal right here. But you go right, right around there. the corner yeah. and look at the mapping out on the outside. So for us to go out, it's just about a mile and a half down here, mm -hmm. around out there, and then, then we're in the open Atlantic Ocean. Um, open array radar, yep. designed to find birds. I yep. mean, you can find them 20 six miles. Foot, six foot array, yeah. and it's the 25 kW mm -hmm. unit. Mm -hmm. As good as you can get for finding birds. So we got a nice big spacious uh, birthing area here. It's a queen size bed. Uh, my wife uh, went out of her way to pick out some pillows and stuff like that to pretty it up. Uh, we also have a, a uh, locker here that it's got a hang up there and head over here. Another sink and a storage cabinet forward with a mirror on it. So if you want to spend the night on the boat, you have no problem. It's a little cozy down here. So we slid around the side of the full cabin here. We've got the Mercs and Sky Hooks. So we're drifting out here in the channel. Uh, but you can see the Easy Anchor up here. We've got an additional switch here for your Easy Anchor, should you need to deploy it or bring it in from the bow. And then what's going on here, Jake? So uh, we needed the boat to be shipped from New Bedford in the summer and uh, down here in the winter. The radar makes the boat too tall. Mm -hmm. So we designed a mount for the radar. Mm -hmm. You just take those four oh, bolts, yeah, two here, that. two there, mm -hmm. and, and uh, pop it right off, pop bolt it, it off down and, here. And you put it down there and bolt it in. And the boat actually loads out at 13 feet, three inches, mm -hmm. and we're 11 feet, 11 inches. So 
we're below that width yeah. where we don't need a chase car or anything like that. And yeah. It makes it way cheaper and easier to get the boat shipped. Yeah. All right, Jake, let's go ahead and get up on, on step here and just show folks the lack of bow rise on these ACI cats because really there's like no planning time with this hole. Right up, right so, up, right up the speed. Let's go ahead and get up on step here and get up to your cruise speed. And yeah. Zero bow rise, maybe just a touch, but but nothing at all. And we normally like to show, you know, zero to 30 time, but we don't really need to show that here. This isn't a sports car anyway, this 34 by 12 cat. Uh, but we'll show you here in a second how it corners. It definitely corners like a sports car. We're cruising right now at 28 miles an hour, 1.3 miles per gallon, about 21 gallons an hour of fuel burn. We're gonna run by a couple of these yachts. You know, we've got yachts passing us here in the intercoastal waterway. And you can see how this cat hole just slices right through any of this little bit of chop in here. A big sport fisher here we're gonna pass. I guarantee you they've never seen a boat like this on the East Coast. And again, this is the warm weather Luma Cat, purpose built for this climate. And, uh, I've been boating down here for 40 years. Yeah. I've never seen this. Yeah. You did a great job, man. And you being a machinist, you went to the right people. Yeah. You know, there is no one in the world, I don't think, that's built as many all welded aluminum catamarans as Corey Armstrong. They they've were been for a long so time. great to deal with. I just couldn't get over it. Uh, anything I wanted, yeah. we would discuss it, and usually they would come up with a better idea. Yeah, and we'd incorporate that. Yeah, you know. Well, you can see that with the layout of this uh, this LumaCat. Yeah, my wife and I had job. very specific ideas of what we wanted, yeah. but with their input, we got yeah. way better. You got a little room here now, Jake. Let's see how fast we can get this this warm weather LumaCat. Here we go. Going here. Twin 300 Mercury's and bam, 42 miles an hour, 43 miles an hour. Full speed, well actually we're at 44 miles an hour right now. Running up the intercoastal waterway here, Singer Island, Florida, for almost a mile per gallon. We're going to cut right across the wake from this yacht and we won't hardly feel this at all. Boxes, they just slice right through everything. So here we go, 1.4, it just popped up and yeah. we're doing 30 miles an hour. Yeah. Just yeah, and then we're cutting right across this chop from that boat that just went by. No pounding. And you'll notice inside this cabin there's no squeaks, there's no rattles, there's no nothing in here, Jake. The fit and finish on these ACIs is really impeccable. They do a wonderful job putting these together. It's nice to be able to have a cabin that you can talk without yeah. having to yell. And the Mercury's certainly help yeah. with that too. They're so really quiet. quiet. Yeah. yeah. So one thing we want to show you is just how well these ACI cats handle. We've been on these things before and they just absolutely hook up in a turn with those narrow sponsons. And I'm going to have Jake here just throw it into a hard starboard turn. Go ahead, Jake. Here we go. Around. We're cruising at 26, 27 miles an hour. He's getting into the throttle a little bit around the corner here, but you can see no cavitation. Hooks right up in the corner. The thing about these ACIs is they've designed reverse chine into the outside of these sponsons, so they don't lean out on the turn. You can see how this thing stayed relatively flat on that sharp corner there. That's because of that reverse chine that really holds it in the corner. Otherwise, this thing may roll out a little bit and it just feels awkward. They've spent a lot of time developing that and working on that. And really, this cabin structure is so far up above the water too. Everything kind of flows underneath. You'll see it on the drone video, how the water just flows out the back of this thing between these ponds. And no water on the windshield. I mean, we'd have the wipers on in a mono hole right now. If I've been boating for, I don't know, 45, 50 years. It loves to go at 30 miles an hour. It seems to be happy to do that in any kind of sea that I'd go out in. Uh, 
uh, sees that I would be doing eight, nine miles an hour in my other boats, I'm doing 25, 30 miles an hour. Thanks for taking the time today, Jake. Had a great time with you today. And of course, this warm weather Lumacat, that's a nice boat, man. It's gonna work great for you guys down here in Florida. The open aft wall here, the interior, the new layout. That's kind of a new design for ACI up in there with the cuddy cabin and everything. I think this is something that's gonna be repeatable for folks down here, the way this boat handles. I know I gotta give the credit to ACI. They've just done such a great job on the boat and they were so easy to work with. The experience in dealing with them was wonderful. Yeah. When we had ideas, they readily embraced our ideas and typically made them better. So yeah. this is what came out of it. Thanks for stopping by today here at Live the Boat. Don't forget to drop your questions and comments down below. Hit the subscribe button. We'll catch you next time.